guys, it's Melanie, and over the last few weeks, I have accumulated some random haul items that I wanted to share with you. A lot of these things I've honestly already kind of started using, and just wanted to share, like, small thoughts. <laughs> as small as I can get my thoughts. Um, I know that I ramble. Sometimes people like to point that out. I'm fully aware. I would encourage you not to watch if you don't like rambling, because I just... It's like diarrhea of the mouth. I can't stop it. So anyway, I'm going to share these items with you. Um, there's some stuff from Bath & Body Works. There's some drugstore and there is some Sephora. So um, let's get into an item that's from none of the places that I just mentioned. This is the new Trader Joe's Pomegranate Body Butter. Those of you that have watched me for a while know that the Coconut Body Butter is like an all-time favorite. The Trader Joe's body butters are just phenomenal. I don't know what it is about them, but they just soak into my skin. I don't find them to be overly obnoxiously fragranced. I can even use them on my upper arms. They just are a phenomenal product. They're not greasy. Just the consistency is phenomenal. Way better than I would say the Body Shop. And that's kind of saying a lot because I used to use the Body Shop butters all the time. So I have already used this. This pomegranate I think is new for like the holiday time. First off, the smell. My God, it smells so authentic. It smells like sweet pomegranates. Nothing else. It, it smells delicious. The consistency is definitely, it's, you know, nice and thick. Um, but it's more of almost like a gel. Like it just, it's very different from any other body butter. It is thick, but it's like a thick, creamy gel. It, yeah. It's hard to explain, but that's kind of the best wording that I can come up with for that. Anyway, I highly recommend this if you have a Trader Joe's near you. Find this, buy it, and love it. It's so moisturizing, phenomenal. All right. I've been wanting to try the Bumble and Bumble. Is it the City Swept? Um, you know, like the volumizing spray. Of course, now I can't remember the name of it. Sorry, I'm having an eyelash issue here. One of my lashes is like poking me in the eye and starting me nuts. Um, I have heard that this is a dupe for that, so I thought I would try this first because this is like, I think six bucks at the drugstore. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Botifier Dry Shampoo, and this is specifically for finer flat hair. Do you see this? <laughs> I'm not wearing it today, um, but I have worn this um, a few times, and this is phenomenal. This is awesome basically i just use it like most people would use a dry shampoo except i do wash my hair every day i i'm not one of those people that can go like every other day or like every third or fourth day my hair is just far too oily and it just feels gross to me it, it smells weird i just i'm not a fan but when i spray this in my hair it gives me the type of grip that i get when i don't wash my hair every single day so um it sort of just adds like some grip some texture but it's not gross grip or texture it's not like you know how sometimes when you have really fine hair products really can get gunked up in your hair like it just can like mat things down this doesn't do that it honestly just adds a nice here I'll spray just a little bit it adds just a nice amount of volume and Basically, I've just been like spraying it in and sort of working it into my roots. And you can see that that, you know, already is like adding some volume. And normally, I will go through and just add some of my Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray um, all over and judge my hair up. Now, granted, I don't do my hair all that often. But, you know, we had like um, Thanksgiving last week and so... I dressed up a little bit for that and then you know over the weekend I was going out quite a bit with my brother and my sister-in-law we were going shopping and I actually fixed myself up a little bit <laughs> at least in the hair department um, and I was using this and I just really love it a lot so I'm spending way too much time for a haul okay picked up two more items from Paula's Choice you guys I love Paula's Choice I picked up another backup of my Resist BHA 9 this is the treatment that I use. It's basically just a 9% solution of salicylic acid. So it's a little bit stronger than your typical 2%. Um, it has just been working so well on reducing the size of my pores, basically eliminating my blackheads completely. Like, just don't have them anymore. It is This stuff is magic to me, and I never, ever want to be without it. 
Um, I am going to be doing my Paula's Choice Hits and Misses video hopefully today when Stella goes down for her nap, so fingers crossed that I can get that up for you early next week. And then I also picked up the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid. This also is 2% um, salicylic acid. So um, I'm wanting something like this to be able to alternate with this. Um, so at any rate, both of these products are great and so glad I picked those up. Um, okay, let's do a couple of drugstore things. So picked up another CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I just saw this on sale for like, I think it was $3.99 and I was like, I like this mascara and that's a good deal. So I grabbed one just to have on backup. Um, and then I also picked up the Wonder Lash Mascara from Rimmel. Now yesterday I up, well no, today, well, okay, so I'm pre-recording this. <laughs> Friday <laughs> is when I uploaded my review of the um, the Wonder Lash Mascara. This is great stuff. Um, if you see this and if you happen to like this mascara, I think you're really going to like this. Plus, this is supposed to have argon oil in it. It's just, I'm wearing it now. I just, I love what it does for my lashes. So, love that. Another drugstore item that I picked up is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. And this is in the color Nude. I'm wearing this today. I am wearing this with um, a, another lipstick I'm going to show you here in a second. And then also the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly, which is like... Uh, I've already used so much of this. This is my favorite lip gloss ever, really truly. I don't spend a ton of money on lip gloss, but that is the one. I've never been able to find a dupe for that color at the drugstore. Anyway, this nude one, I believe I've heard Lisa Lisa D1 talking about this. This needs to be sharpened. But it's just a really true, like, basic nude. Like, more of like a pinky nude. But it really just works well with my natural lip color. And I find that this works well with almost all of my nude or pinky nude or pink or brownie nude <laughs> lipsticks. So phenomenal good long wear and I think it's like five bucks so that's awesome um the lipstick so this is from the Sephora brand um so this these next couple things are from Sephora um I did get my 10 sorry 20 off of 50 coupon in the mail and I had to spend it so I spent it on this and the next thing I'm going to show you this is the Sephora Rouge in the color mmm M, 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 dot, dot, dot. Um, so basically, it's just a gorgeous mauve. Oh, so that's what I have on my lips. Um, this formula is great. I, I have had these lipsticks before, a long time ago, and I really didn't care for them. So I know Sephora reformulated these. Much improved. I would actually, these are pretty comparable. I won't say they're as good as the NARS Audacious, but if you're not wanting to spend the money on the NARS Audacious lipsticks, um, I would say these are some good ones to try out here. There's a good color selection, and the wear on them is pretty darn long. They are a longer wearing lipstick, um, nice and opaque, creamy um, application, just feels good on your lips. They're not drying or anything. This is good stuff, so... And then the other thing that I picked up is it has been a really long time since I have purchased anything from Bare Minerals um, in terms of powder foundation. This is what I actually started out with way back in the day. Like we are talking like way back in the day when Bare Minerals first started releasing mineral foundation. Um, I used to buy it off of QVC because that was the only place it was sold at the time. And... Um, I used it for years and then I stopped because I just felt like my skin was breaking out from the formula. It just, it stopped working well with my skin and I moved over to the Everyday Minerals, which has been fantastic. However, I saw that they had this limited edition, um, the, now this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. Um, I saw that they had this and it's basically a jumbo size. It was a really good deal for $39.50. I really wanted to try the foundation again because I think that since the last time that I've used it, they have reformulated it. And I've heard a lot of people talking about using this not only as like just a regular powder foundation, but a lot of people are using it as like a setting powder to add extra coverage to their liquid foundation. 
I don't wear liquid foundation, I just wear this. But, so I've just honestly been curious and I figured since I had the 20 off of 50, I would go for it. Um, I do like the packaging, it's kind of like a, I don't know, just black and white diamond pattern. It's, it's very cute, it's, you know, like a heavy duty, like acrylic almost. Comes in a nice box, I think I'm actually gonna give this box to Stella. Um, so packaging is great. All in all, for the lipstick and for this, I paid 32 bucks. So um, it was worth it for me to be able to try this. Um, it was almost like I got the lipstick for free because I didn't even have to pay full price for this. So that was from just a few random things from Sephora. And then let's talk. Let's talk Bath and Body Works. Okay, I went a little crazy on hand soap. Reason being is I had a ton of 10 off of 30 coupons that were expiring and they were doing the hand soaps 7 for 24. So um, anyway, that's just a really good time to pick up hand soap if you have a 10 off of 30. So I picked up, um, I think, probably seven of the Merry Cookies. Um, most of them are either dispersed around my house or they are already in gift bags for friends and family. So um, I like to give this hand soap as like a small like additional gift, you know, with like the main gift that I'm giving because they just smell so good. And I know most people don't splurge on hand soap. So I am including this in a lot of my gift bags <laughs> this holiday season for my family. So um, most of these have already been given out to those people in their gift bags. Um, and then I also picked up, most of these are honestly the same, so um, I'll just have to count how many of each, but the frosted, um, sorry, pumpkin frost. Have you smelled this? If you have not smelled this, you need to run your butts to Bath and Body Works and you just basically need to buy like every one that they have. This is quite possibly the most delicious smelling hand soap in the history of the world. It smells like pumpkins and it smells like um, nutmeg and vanilla and like Christmas spices. That sounds odd, but it, it's like magic. <laughs> so I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I picked up like eight of those just for me. I love it. And then I picked up the rest of what I got are, so I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five of the white uh, pear and fig because this one also smells really, really good. I thought these would be good transition scents for like the winter into early spring, so that's why I bought so many. Oh yeah, that's, that's really good. That's going to be amazing in the spring. I mean, obviously the packaging is a little bit more like wintry, but... Okay, this one I would use year round. They're like, they can never do away with this. <laughs> I would be so pissed. Um, so yeah, I just I kind of went a little bit hand soap crazy. One because I give them away as gifts during the holidays, and then two, I just wanted to stock up on some favorites before they go away. I think that is everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, <laughs> leave them down below, and. Um, let me know if you smell this and what your thoughts are on it. Basically, I clearly am like madly in love with it. And if they don't bring it back, <laughs> I'm going to be so bummed out. But yeah, if, if you smell this, let me know your thoughts on it. All right. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.